Hello, hello, YouTube. How are you guys doing? And welcome back to the live stream. We are playing some new scary games today. Both of these games, we're playing two games. Hopefully, if we'll get to both of them. They both came out in the last two weeks, uh, and I'm excited to just pretty much immediately drop in. Let's see if the language is all correct. Oh, fuck, what have I done? <laughs> I thought that was just gonna show me the language. Okay, there we go, we're back. No, no panic. I don't think I can play the game like this. That would be very bad. Uh, I think we've already checked everything. Yeah, made sure that the FPS is not too high because the game was kind of going crazy. Uh, we'll just click a new game and hop straight in. Hope you're all... Oh, hello. In two, 2000... Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to alt F4 that real quick and do something about the volume because I think I'm going to lose my ears. <laughs> let me uh, let me click a little bit of this. Uh, there's no settings for audio? Are we back in 2015? Or... No, I'm just kidding. All right, I'll just turn the game down manually. So you guys don't die. Hey, I care for you guys. There we go. All right. I have to use, like... Because for some reason, my new audio setup, like, when I lower my own volume, it also lowers you guys' volume. Does this lower your volume, too? I mean, Wait, is this... What is this going to do? That doesn't lower you guys' volume. Okay, so that's my volume slider, then, I see. I'm figuring out my new mixer still. Anyway, new game. Hey, time to think of the 40. In 2015, a team of scientists from the Arctic station Zarya took ice sam samples for research from a depth of two kilometers. Okay. Just as they were about to, to return to the base, a severe snowstorm began. <clears throat> Let me guess they lost it. Once they reached the base, they were down into the old bunker. They went down into the old bunker, as security protocol instructed them to do. Yeah, I love that there's subtitles on the subtitles. <laughs> okay. Arrow, thank you for the five gift subs. And Hippo, thank you as well. What am I doing? <clears throat> oh, hello there. Uh, welcome to the bunker achievement. Oh, this uh, game looks great. Uh, so we're gonna find something in the ice. We got samples from the ice and then we went into the bunker That's nice lighting you got right there. Love it. Love it here. I don't know what the what's with all the ghost orbs We got ghost orbs floating around uh, Current objective is empty. <laughs> I have currently zero objective. Uh, I appreciate that What the fuck is going on? Uh, I think I have to talk with Victor, although the game seems a little confused about that one. <laughs> I think I bugged it out by opening it too early. Whoops. All right, we'll just talk to Victor and pretend it's all okay here. Where's Victor? Oh, I'm assuming you're Victor. Hello there, sir. What? Hi? Oh, are we talking? There we, there we go. Victor, listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. I don't know why he was staring at me like Are that. Are you talking about the Arctic or this Cold War bunker? Uh, about the bunker. It's so creepy here at times. Yes. It's scary for me here, too. And regarding your question, that love is you remember sure. that strong storm that started and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Yes, I remember. The question was rhetorical. God, in two years with us, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor. I didn't realize it was a joke either. I'm with Victor on this one. Justice for Victor. Well, I'm sorry. What the hell, man? I'm kidding. Okay, what about those samples that we found? You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. Okay, I'll go ask. All right, then. Uh, you do not look like my image of a scientist. Where's your white lab coat and your nerd glasses? Come on, man. My worldview is going to be shattered here. Uh, can we eat some food from the fridge? This all looks absolutely disgusting. Why is the fridge open? And why do you get an open can of beans in a, like, broken down fridge? This place does not really look like a bunker. I mean, I guess it is. Okay, can I, can I play some Flappy Bird? No. All right, then. Uh, where is this? Where's the microbiologist? Microbi- Can I run into this? I actually can. 10 out of 10 games. I'm assuming the microbiologist is in this room. There we go. Hello. See, you got that white clothes on. Uh, Maya. Hello, Maya. How are you doing? How it's are you... good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. Okay. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you... Why am I such a snarky little bitch, man? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What did we find? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. 
micro organ why does that word look so weird i feel like there should be a hyphen in there it looks like we found what we were looking for thomas we need to examine the samples to understand exactly what they are let's observe further okay i'll go contact zvezda station the storm should have reached them by now i'll find out if they went down to the shelter amber thank you for the gift stuff as well uh okay so my why is my objective so screwed i've already talked to maya game are you confused uh, okay, I'm gonna move on. I should contact Zvezda Station and see how they are doing. That's what I was planning to do. I'm gonna use the computer for that, right? Obviously. No? Alright, not using the computer. Why? If we got all the floppy disks, dude, remember these? I remember. Hello there, sir. I know I'm looking at you very creepy. I forgot how to stand up. I just gotta press control again. Okay, let's find the telephone, wherever that is. Uh, probably in this room right here. Yeah, good old times with the floppy disk. Will we ever get rid of the floppy disk being the save icon? I don't think so. I mean, maybe eventually. Uh, that is the toilet? No, it's a boya. Boya into bar, ba, ba, bar. Ba, bar? Whatever that means. Any people that can read that. Also, this whole... The ventilation system is broken. We're gonna die out here. Excuse me? This is an underground bunker and your ventilation system is hanging from the roof. Get ready to suffocate. What is that? Best dogs preview. Best, they know the priorities here. Look at that. They got freaking massive bags of dog food. Where's the doggy? I need to find the doggy. I want to find doggy. Doggy in here? Oh, let me flick this real quick. Let me guess, later on this is gonna turn off and they're gonna be like, hey, you should go to the breaker, turn back on the breaker. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, where the fuck is the phone? Demon, thank you for the 27. Mutant doggy. Uh, that is not it. Duplama, thank you for the 28. What the hell, guys? Level eight hype train, are you chill? <laughs> chill, yeah, bingo time, guys. <laughs> There were some people that posted bingo cards in the Discord. You could grab one of those and just play for yourself. <laughs> Am I gonna call in here? Oh, here we go. That's also obligatory flashlight on the ground that I can't pick up yet, but that the game will make me pick up in about 15 seconds. Can't wait. All right, I am confused. Contact Vesta station by radio, yeah. Okay. Where is that? Out here? Radio? Radio. These are all radios. This is a computer. What are you doing on computer? Go outside, so beautiful. Um, I feel like I've looked everywhere. <laughs> Am I stupid? I feel like I might be stupid. Is this radio? No. On this computer? No. Um, That's a telephone. This radio? That's not even a radio. That is just literally a medical device. Okay, what is spot? Do you see the radio? Click on the radio. Can we do a Dora style? I can't pick up the keys. I will be picking it up in a moment. Behind Victor. <clears throat> oh, this. Can I click on this? Nope. I cannot click on that. Paint spray, auto parts, glue. Victor, do you know where the radio is? He doesn't. No thoughts. Um, so let's go room by room, because then we'll find it eventually. There's uh, something that looks like a radio. It's not it. That looks like a radio, but it's not it. There's no other electronics in this room. So this room is clear. Check. Next one. Desk. I clicked on the desk 17 times, no? It's definitely not this. Wait. This one? I tried this one. Like, this was my first instinct was clicking on this. This one. I feel so insanely stupid right now. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not this, like, clearly some kind of com communication setup. This is literally a computer, and there's a radio here, too. Like, you would expect this to be it. Then there's a television. There's no way it's the fucking television, right? This is also radio looking, but it's not this either. Okay, so this room is clear then. No, not in this room. Check. Maybe it's in this dark-ass room here. 
Is it gonna be this door? No, this is the door to the basement. I don't need to go there right now. Okay, I see. Uh, let's go next room. We have already been here, but we're just going room by room. This is some medical device. That's not it. This is also not it, even though that is also a radio, but I know it's not like one where you communicate with others. Uh, that is just medical device. That is also not it. I'm pressing left mouse button and E on all these, by the way. So that this room is also cleared from being it. So then it has to be in the room where we started, basically. But there's literally not even any device in this room whatsoever. Holy fuck. Am I soft locked? <laughs> or is it in the tunnel? Didn't I already check all of this? Is it in the... In this room? No, that's something else. Yeah, the final boss is turning on the radio, but there's no way... Th Wait. Oh, I can go in here! Okay, here we go. That's gotta be it. I did not know I could go here, and there's the radio! We've done it! That took us far longer than I'm willing to admit. Svesta Station! Zarya's calling, can you hear me? Uh, I repeat, Svesta Station, Zarya's calling, can you- bah. I can hear you, Zarya. Uh, how are you doing there? Did you manage to get down to the shelter? Yeah, we're here. We're doing fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. <laughs> I he love this voice. He doesn't to be doing too well with this tight quarters. Who even sent him down here? Damn That's... scientist. Damn scientist. <laughs> That's some Kekona right there, dude. Well, I, I heard that someone from the government insisted on this on his transfer to the station. Well, of course they did. By the way, Miles By said the you way. guys found something interesting. I love it. <laughs> I don't know yet whether this is interesting. She's trying to find out what we found. Okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across yesterday. Uh, and you keep us informed. Over. Okay. Over. Over and over, over. Um... Okay, we've done it. Context Vesta Station. I've done that. Hello there. There's more rooms to explore here, though. I probably should go back to the lady, but I'm kind of curious what's this room. Oh, there's a doggy! Look at the doggies. We better not be doing some fucked up experiments on these doggies, because I will never forget you. Can I pet the doggies? Uh, I cannot close. Okay, I can. Doggies. Hello there. I can't pet the doggies. Zero out of ten game. Can I feed the doggies? Hi there. You look a little sad. I guess you're just sleeping. You're just chilling, and I should not bother you. Okay. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> no achievement for petting the doggies. We get an achievement for starting the game, but we don't get an achievement for petting the doggies. Come on, man. Um, we will feed them in a moment. Can we actually pick up the dog food? I'm kind of curious. I doubt we can. Uh... I would love to though. No, we can't. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the lady because she probably has something to say. Pour some tea in the kitchen. Okay. Wait, we didn't see a kitchen, so that's gotta be in this area as well, like right next to it. Um. Oh, well, there was a like a foodie place. Oh no, no, no. There was a foodie place earlier. <laughs> Never mind. Right. I don't know if you could consider it a kitchen. Yeah, you can't feed the dog. What the fuck, man? Is this? This is the kitchen here, right? There's the kitchen, of course. Uh, I need to pour some tea and rest a bit. Okay. Tea or coffee, guys. This is... Let me just start a war real quick. Also, dogs or cats, guys. Uh, you guys will be busy for the next 15 minutes. I don't have to do anything. What the fuck, bro? Damn it, Victor! Why the hell are you creeping up? You ran at me like you were trying to tackle me, dude. I almost poured boiling water on you. Sorry, Thomas. Maya's calling you. She says she's discovered something. Okay. All right, that's what I expected would happen. My man, he... How did he run... Dude, look at the smoke. <laughs> the smoke is moving with the... With the cup. That's so weird. Woo! I'm an airbender. Hello there. Hey, Thomas. Uh, what's up, Maya? You just won't believe it. Believe it? And you better put that mug on the table. Uh-oh. Take a look at this. Okay. This is Scrubber. There's some kind of micro thingy. Yes, is that supposed to make any sense to me? 
I'm not a scientist. You're the scientist. What did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after it's being COVID. frozen <laughs> in ice for thousands of years. Is this years. how it started? How is this possible? I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Do you have everything you need here? Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Okay, you keep researching. I'll go take a rest. <laughs> okay, I'm just like, fuck you. Goodbye. Hello, dude. You're always creeping up on me, sir. How the fuck did you do that? Take the smoke. <laughs> it's literally inside your face. Okay, I don't know what... What? Contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Tell them that we found... What we found. Maya, describe everything to them in detail. Congratulations, guys. Great job. I'm going to take a little rest. Maybe then the storm will be over, and then we'll think about how to send the samples to the laboratory in Hawaii. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave now. Stop. I'm going to go to bread. It's bread time. I'm not doing anything in this bitch, huh? I'm just a lazy bastard. I don't care, though. Good night. Where, I'm not taking a rest in my bed. Can I drink the coffee or the tea at least? Wait, what? I'm not allowed to sleep? I thought you said I need to take a rest. I need to read a book on the sofa with a mug of tea. You have some very specific needs, sir. Why don't you fucking scroll on TikTok like a normal person? Goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. Uh, did something break? Huh, what was that? Did someone die to the- let me guess, they died to the microorganism? Did it break free? I hear creepy sounds. What are these sounds? I need to find the guys. I swear I heard something coming from the tunnel. Maya, Victor, are you there? Um... I love the atmosphere building. I felt totally safe and now I feel scared. Oh, toilet? This is not open before, I don't remember. That is disgusting. I hate these, by the way. I- I am glad that in my life, I have never had to poop on one of these, but I don't know if I could. Like, physically. I don't know. I- I don't know why I'm more against pooping in one of these than pooping in nature. <laughs> it's not- I think my brain is a little fucked up. Even though it's, like, effectively the same thing. <laughs> it's just something about them, man. Hello there. Stupid piece of- Stupid piece? What happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. Uh, oh, it's probably all because of the storm. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. Yeah, okay, I'll try to fix this thing and you can do something else for now. Okay, I'm the mechanic. I see, I was, I was thinking when are we finally gonna do something in this bitch? Because we have been absolutely useless reading books and drinking tea. Okay, I think I've done something. I think I've repaired something. Uh, what are these signs I need to find? The objective is always so delayed compared to what's actually going on. All right, gamers, I think I did something. Did they go back to researching? Oh, that's not a room I need to go to. Maya? She is not here. Wait a minute. Yeah, I know there's places that have toilets like that. Wait a minute. Check what those There's more sounds? Okay, never mind. They're not here. I need to go back into the tunnel. I was just trying to find them. <clears throat> do, do, do. Um. Are they at the end of this hallway? I see an open door over there. I don't remember going this far out. Uh, Maya? Oh, no. This is the breaker thingy. We're totally fine. Um, I love when the game says check out what the sounds are and there's no sounds. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What sounds? What are you talking about? Am I fucking hearing voices? <laughs> this way? Isn't this the dogs? Doggies? Hello doggies. Doggies are happy still. That means I'm happy too. How are you guys doing? Everything is fine? Are you bored? Well, of course it's boring here. Hi there. Can I give you food? The food bowls are all empty. It's food time. 
Door, your bowls are empty. You guys want to eat right now? We'll bring it right now. Let's go. I was 10 steps ahead of the game. Wait, I can't leave. Oh, there we go. Now I can leave. I was already thinking about them. Bring the dog some food and feed them. I mean, at least we got a lot of food in store here. We got that premium quality, right? Yes, premium quality for some premium good boys. <laughs> 10 out of 10. We have gone back. We've crawled it back from a 0 out of 10. It was fast. Here you go, buddies. I want to see you eat. Yum, 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 yum. We can actually feed them, yes. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> Is that milk? That doesn't look like water. Soon the storm will be will end and we will all come out of here together. We will breathe fresh Arctic air. We'll play in the snow again. Be patient just a little longer. Let's go. Alrighty. They're just chilling. Uh, where did my friends go, though? I don't know what is happening with my friends. I'll go to the kitchen. My brother in Christ, you are actually... <laughs> you need another cup of tea? You just had one, bro. You're addicted. You have a problem. <laughs> Never enough tea? Well, what are you what? going to do? I'll rest a bit and continue trying to fit. You didn't even finish fixing the radio? My guy's like, those were a tough five minutes of working. Let me go back to doing absolutely fucking nothing. Are you serious? I didn't even finish the job, man. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm useless. The radio works. It's just that the signal can't get through oh, because of the storm. Oh, I see. I'm talking Wait. about you and Maya. So this guy is like better at everything than I do and I'm still sassy to this guy. Maybe that's maybe it's because they're projecting because of my inferiority complex or something. I don't know. What do you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. Don't make this up, Vic. We are scientists and we don't have time for office romances. Well, it seems like you got a, f a lot of time to do jack shit. So I don't know about that one. Dot, dot, dot. Well, okay, I like her. So what? Dude, you are easily convinced. Well, why are you waiting? Life is too short. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I once missed my chance with a beauty from the Institute. Dude, he's this insane wingman, too. I've never had... I've never played a character so useless, and all the NPCs around me are so cool. Uh, why did you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up. Nope. It was a very long time ago. I see. She worked with me on a project, and we seemed to get along. Then I asked her out, and we had a good time. What happened next? Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. Cronenheim? And then here. So three years have passed. Our work is merciless when it comes to our personal lives. <sighs> yeah. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together, and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, work are we doing? Man. Okay, Victor, you are right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her to see how the work how the work on the samples is going, and maybe we can talk about something else. I've tried to cast, cast a bait. Why you say it like that, dude? Weird is like Reddit or spotted. Let's go to r slash romance and learn about yeah, the 10 tips yes. and tricks to get a lady. Right you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> okay, what a joke you are, Vic. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. I was already told about this. <laughs> They're scientists. That's how they talk. Okay. Okay. Don't be upset about that girl. She is also a scientist. She understands everything. If everything went well for you, then maybe she is waiting for you. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Tom. <laughs> Go already. Find out about the samples. Damn, dude. Those samples. Samples. In your pants. Oh my god, bro. What is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Samples in your pants? <laughs> oh, I, I'm not finishing my tea. You know what will be an insanely good move here? Is get two cups of tea, get the tea that you know the lady likes, give her a cup of tea, give her like five minutes of rest, because she's like, well, I've been working and focusing uh, for an hour. I don't want to get myself some tea because I'm focused, but if you're bringing me tea, I'll take it. That's how you start a conversation, baby. Idiot. You're out here like, hey, how about I take you away from your work? Hey, Thomas, you won't believe it. Maya, how are you doing here? I discovered something interesting here. These <laughs> but, organisms yeah, put that one on Reddit. To light. How is that? I did a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Activity dropped sharply. 
but when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? What? They've multiplied. Wow! Yes, can you imagine? I kept the box in the dark just for a minute, and they doubled in number. How is this possible? So they reproduce in the dark? It looks like it. And I noticed okay. something else. <laughs> My response is just, huh? When I conducted an experiment with light, <laughs> didn't even say a I word. the lights in the room and began to observe. <laughs> I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. Okay, and what does this mean? Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack, and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. Sounds interesting. That's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. Okay, I think that's enough work for today. We did a good job, especially you, Maya. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. It's already late. We should all get some sleep. Maybe the storm will be over in the morning. Yeah, I hope so. I feel uneasy. What happened to talking about anything that's not work-related? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> this man's got no game, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll go to sleep then. <laughs> what the fuck? Was I supposed to do something there? What's going on? Okay, I guess I'm too. Well, okay, I'll go to sleep then. <laughs> he just fucking stares at him. <laughs> Let me go back to dot dot dot. <laughs> Are you night, fucking man. serious? Sweet dreams, Thomas. Good night to you too, Maya. You're a fucking idiot, dude. You failed the charisma check. Oh my god. He didn't say anything. He wasn't like, how about we go get some tea before s for bed and talk about a book or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! You fucking idiot! <laughs> I should have asked for some tea or something, what a fool I am. Yeah, why did you do that, you idiot? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, I'm extremely tired. I need to go take a nap. Dude, I'm more invested in the fucking romance situation than... Did you just fart or, or- oh, he's snoring. I thought he just fucking ripped a mad one in my face as soon as I walked in there. <laughs> okay, uh, this is going great so far. We're failing at everything. We're failing at work. We're failing at romance. Uh, let's go kill- get killed by some monster under the ice. Dude, they've animated this whole thing. They were like, gotta make sure that going in the bed is realistic. Couldn't just fade the black hair. Oh, there we go. There's something in the ice. Is that a scream? This this is because they're scientists, of course. I think I heard a scream right there. Oh yeah. Waking up in the middle of the night. Why did you turn off the heater in the middle of the night? It's like the time it's coldest, I would assume. Let me guess, we need that flashlight. Don't tell me Maya's dead. We didn't even get a chance to literally say a single word to her. Okay, well, I guess I'm not getting the flashlight yet. Q obligatory flashlight you'll need in about a second. Uh, the whole place fell apart. I got a, it got a little dark here. What happened to the light? Probably the wiring is damp. I'll ask Victor to go check. Why don't you do anything? What the, this guy, is this a parody? A useless person of all time? Why don't you check? <laughs> okay, what the fuck? I can't go in the dark. Can I get some, isn't Victor gone? Victor is gone. Can I just take the flashlight? Why don't you? There's a perfectly functional flashlight. There's a perfectly functional lantern. Why do you need to ask someone else to do your shit? Why is it so dark when I walk over there? It's kind of interesting. Wait, so I go over here. It gets so dark. Uh, what the hell? Maya? Whoa, what happened here? Uh, let me guess. The monster went free. Stay in the light, guys. It's not time for the flashlight yet. Yeah, of course. It's so damn dark in here. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Are you fucking joking me? I tried to pick it up 17 times. I think I saw a flashlight somewhere in the bedroom. You son of a bitch. <laughs> this happens every time. Why is this such a trope in horror games? I don't get it. I call it out every time. It happens in every game, dude. Why? I don't get it. <laughs> okay, it's fine. 
What the hell? Uh oh. Damn great. It looks like all the power has gone out. Good thing I have a flashlight. Yeah. Good thing, dude. Okay, I love the graphics, by the way. They're amazing. I hear radio. Hello? Sarah! Uh. Huh? Okay. Over. <laughs> this is Venda Station. Over. It's yep. Vesta. Calling. Repeat. Answer! <laughs> Answer! <laughs> Best I hear you with interference. We have some problems with electricity here. Over. Zarya, you hear what we said? Very dangerous. Shvesta, hard to hear interference. Please repeat over. Zarya, I repeat, the stone that found this, the remains of ancient asteroid. More than okay. Thousand. I mean, we're basically oh. getting all the information. So, as the station, please repeat the heavy interference. I cannot hear you. Zarya, be careful. Find maybe dangerous <laughs> that stone. <laughs> Joke's on you. He's actually just talking one found. word at a time. It's maybe dangerous. Radiation. Can you hear me? <laughs> Wait, that was... <laughs> Colossal. Oh my god, please. Your He's fucking trolling me, dude. Sample. Possibly related. Be careful. Why the hell does that? That doesn't make any sense. He said B, and then like 15 seconds later, he said careful. What did he say in between? That was not interference. He was just trolling me. <laughs> How does that work? Holy shit, stupid old radio. Fucking storm. I can't understand shit. Well, great. Now the connection is completely lost. Be extremely careful, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I think I could make out a couple of words. They were saying something about their find, about that stone. It seems there was something else, something about radiation and danger. And it also, it seems there was the word ancient, but it could be wrong. Or I could be wrong. Well, that was some kind of nonsense. I hope everything is okay there. Yeah, some kind of nonsense. Don't you see what's happening here, sir? Uh, well, I know where the breaker is, so I'm gonna go turn on the breaker. I hear very weird noises. The doggies better be okay, I swear to God. Alright, check on the breaker. Don't you fucking dare make me do something, uh, some other bullshit, and then come here in about 15... This should be your first instinct! You suck. <laughs> We're gonna go there in a moment, I'm telling you. Okay, nothing there. What is this for? Hello? Doggies? Brr, it's so cold here. Doggies? Hey guys, what are you barking at? What's happened? Scared of the dark? Bring the dogs a lamp. Okay. Everything is fine. Don't be afraid. Everything is fine. They're barking at the, the vent there. They know something. It seems that the dog are afraid of the dark. I need to bring them a gas lamp. Maybe it will make them feel safer. Am I gonna get jump scared on the way here? There was one next to my bed. I wonder where Maya and Victor went. You're never gonna see this lady again and you didn't even ask her to go drink some tea with you. Tell him this guy is gonna have so many regrets. All right, we got the lamp. This one is way better. Why didn't, why didn't you take this to begin with? This is so much brighter than the flashlight. My man's like, well, I'm a, I'm a future boy. I got to take the technological device instead of the thing that's actually better, but older. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it's suddenly blurry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here you go. I got for you lamp. Oh, that's it, guys. Don't be afraid. Now you have more light than me. You have food and water. So be good little dogs while I look for Maya and Victor. Okay, they're totally chill now suddenly. Oh, they're chill now because the light is here so they don't multiply anymore, right? Whatever the hell the, the bacteria is or something. What the fuck are those noises? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, it's still light in there. 
That came straight out of this room. Uh, hi? Is that a phone call? No. I swear that came from- Oh, what the fuck? That was not there a moment ago. What the fuck was that? There's tentacles. Uh, I can't walk on this, I assume? It does- No, I can't. Uh, yeah. This- You can't lie to me! It looks like some kind of er growth. They are organic. This is not- This wasn't here a moment ago. This couldn't have broken the power. Because I went here, and there was nothing. You lied to me. Check the generator room. Didn't I just do that? Oh, no, this room. Uh, wait, no, that's the toilet. It was right here. No, it wasn't it? This room? Yes. It's broken. Is this not the generator? I thought this was a generator. What is the generator room I was just fucking in? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was there like three times. What are you talking about? <laughs> this one? No. No, it's not. Even though it's got all kinds of power. Okay, different room. Not to be confused with that room. It's other room. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember. Not this one. Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me? Uh, the lights are breaking. That's concerning. Hello. It's fine. Totally fine. They're gonna break my flashlight next. Okay, doggies are still okay. Aha, uh -huh, this room. Uh, that's a lot of blood. Now it's clear why the generator turns off. The thing, it's everywhere. Yeah, that's disgusting. It's grown. What? <laughs> what happened? Uh, I've been smacked? <laughs> I don't know. What, did I do something wrong? Am I dead? I'm looking at a black screen right now. Hello? Oh, I'm fine. I just have to press F. What? <laughs> okay, then what was that? <laughs> I thought I was in a cutscene there. Um. Alright. This is fine. Check the generator room. I've already- I'm in the generator room. I'm checking it right now. I don't think there's anything for me to do here. So I'm gonna go out and see if the doggies are still okay. Because that's way more important than the fucking generator. Uh, there's light there. Doggies still okay? Doggies still okay. Alright, that's important. Isn't that the toilet? are breaking the headlight yeah i know okay uh this is why i never poop in these what the hell dude disgusting you never know when some inorganic ancient growth is gonna get your ass literally i'm gonna go back here i mean my yeah, everything is fucked now. It just was literally not like this a moment ago. So it's growing extremely fast, but somehow I can't hear. Thing is spreading at an alarming rate. I wonder what it is. And where did Maya and Victor go? I'm starting to worry. Yeah, they're dead as hell. Don't you realize? Uh, I need to exit the... F I need to check the exit from the bunker. Maybe they went outside. Maybe. What is this, though? There is a crawly space. I'm starting to worry, yeah, my man. Is this exit? Very creaky. I'm gonna let it free. Uh, we're snowed in somehow. Even though the door is closed, how did the snow get in? Doesn't look like these doors were open. They can't be open at all. Snow flew into the cracks between the doors and froze. That's impressive. <laughs> that thing was like the worst door of all time. If it, this much snow got through it in a day. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> Red means scary. You know the rule. Time to die. What in the fuck? Was this open before? 
I don't think so. Uh, that looks like oil. It's so damp here. Yeah, it's just, oh, that was the basement door and it said like, I don't need to go there right now. <clears throat> of course. Yeah, this is disgusting. More red equals scary. Victor? Swear I'm working codes. Uh, Victor, water monster time? I don't like this. Can I live? Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Uh, there's something in the water. Open the fucking door, bro. Help. Push it faster, you idiot. Okay, this is fine. Ah, oh, this is fine. You control the crouch? Okay. Oh my god, it's over. Stop. What in the frick? Never mind, I'm okay. It's biting my ankles. Check the dogs. Uh, it's blinking. Look, these clothes are already everywhere. Yeah, it's a wonder that we're not seeing them move. I guess it's because we have lights. But you are fucked, like, immediately. This is gonna grow clothes before you even get back here. You're fucked now. Oh, Jesus, what? Doggies? Oh, no, not the doggies! Are you kidding me? Leave them! Come on, man! Help the doggies! Uh, they got fucking Aiden or Eden, sorry. The guy got sucked into a black hole of whatever the fuck this is. Well, they're all dead. Rip. Maybe they're growing. Like maybe they're actually fine. Maybe they'll be like happy in there. <laughs> Nice and warm. Something dragged the dogs into the ventilation. I know where there's an entrance into the ventilation. Are we going there? I need to try to contact Vesta Station again. Really? I thought it was going for the doggies. Uninstall. Uh, Station Vesta Zarya calling. I don't know if you can hear me, but we have an emergency here. Two of my team are missing and I can't find them. And also there's some kind of evil here. It seems something killed our dogs. There's some strange organic substance everywhere. Zvesta, please answer. I don't know what to do. Zvesta, please answer. This is how he's talking now. Okay, that did not work. Uh, wait, it's gone? Oh, no, never mind. Did they get out of here? Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? It was like a little... Like a pill bug or something. Can I go this way? Goodness gracious. I want to go through the vent to try and save the dogs. Something is chasing me. Something is here in the walls. Uh, this is actually blocked off. I can't go here. Can't, I can't get out though, right? This is super blocked. Do we have a flamethrower? I need to clear the snow. I can't do that with my bare hands. It was shovel in the bunker somewhere. Okay. In Maya's laboratory. That's not this way. That's the opposite way. It's all. Wait, it's fucked, dude. This is, isn't this it? Isn't that the laboratory right here? Am I crazy? Well, I guess we're not going that way. Yeah, can we get some tea? <laughs> no, the kitchen is blocked off. How will I get my tea? In here, maybe. No, that's downstairs. I don't want to go there anymore. I'm going to get eaten. Uh, maybe in this room. The only other room that's open. I mean, it said find a shovel to kill the snow. The shovel was next to Maya's lab. Okay, it's just going to be there outside. I thought it was going to be inside. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Aha! Uh -huh, I'm blind. That is like the wrong shovel. <laughs> Isn't that the snow shovel? Alright then. Uh... He keeps turning on my flashlight. Am 
Am I being chased? The dogs are alive? I don't know what's going on. Ben, then thank you for the donation. Come on, come on! I'm trying- I would love to save the dogs. Okay. It's cold. Yep. The storm does not subside. Oh, I love the snow sound. I need to try to contact the, best, contact the best the station on the radio, but when we left the base, we closed all the doors, except for the rec recreation room on the first floor. The key must be there. But, oh yeah, I, wait, were those the keys I saw before that I wanted to pick up? Oh, they even got a trail of snow. That's sick. These signal lights? Oh yeah, flares. Oh, I can't open that. Love all the sound effects. Isn't this the first floor? We have to go higher for first floor? None of these fucking doors are open. Just break a window. Somebody open up a window. Uh, there's lots of beds there, but no one's sleeping. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to be there. Find the keys to the station in the recreation room on the first floor. Yes, I- that's why I'm looking. Uh... Or do you mean ground floor? I think that might mean ground floor. Otherwise I'm lost. What are these? Can we go this way? I wanna check out the signals. Let me guess I'm gonna be blocked in here. Yep. <laughs> Wait, really? No, I can go around. Ah, uh, that's a lot of blood. Damn, the doors to the bunker, they are open. Have the guys really gotten out of here? Oh, yep. I need to go to the base to get the keys to the radio room and contact the station. Okay, so we do need to go upstairs. So sorry, I, I, I thought we were... I mean, I, I tried literally every single door that existed, so I thought... <laughs> I guess I didn't. Unless there's a door out here that I missed. Aha! This door is closed. There's another one on the other side. Okay, so it is ground floor instead. Another one on the other side. There's an arrow here. What the hell, man? This one. Yes, there we go. All of the doors were closed, though. Okay. It's totally peaceful in there. I like it. Um, what is... Oh, this is the key I need. That was not the keys I saw before. Here it is. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Please, someone answer. Please, somebody. Victor, where have you gone? I woke up and you weren't there. There's some crazy shit going on in the bunker. Something took the dogs away. They're gone. Thomas, is that you? God, I'm so glad to hear you. Listen, I this need help. Sissy. What happened? Where are you? I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. Okay, don't move. I'll be right there. Okay, I'm waiting. Please hurry. Okay, then. Actually, kind of a nice looking place here. Doesn't seem like it's that big of a storm. There's a hangar over there. Okay, we go. The fuck was that noise? What? What the? There's a light, and it seems like someone is knocking on the door. Do I go up there? It's the same piece of ice that we brought with us to the base. This? Oh god, there was something in the ice after all. Need to check this knocking on. No, you don't. You need to help Victor out. Think about literally anyone that's not you, sir, for a change. Good. You peeve? Why would you check out the knocking noises? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, up all the way? Yep. This protagonist is such a piece of shit. Oh, uh, it's Maya. Victor, please, let me out. Oh, that's kind of spooky. 
I love that. That's a screenshot right there. Victor, open up. What's gotten into you? Maya, what's happened? Thomas? Is that you? Yes, it's me. Why are you locked? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely. Uh, oh. He tried to attack what? me. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. What do you mean that he attacked you? Yes. He chased me all over the bunker, but I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me and locked me here in the lab. Yeah, why does he talk so cal calm? I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Are the other doors also closed? How can I get you out? Yes, he closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Maybe there are spare keys to go Oh out yeah, I remember room. this. Maybe I'll go look. Are you okay here? Yes, I'm okay. But hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Okay, don't be afraid. I will be right back. That is super sussy, man. Lady. That's creepy. He's spooky. Okay, um, so we need to go, well, not what is the light. We need to go down and go back into the bunker. Yeah, yeah well, now we're going to help Victor. What the hell is going on? Maya seems to be safe. I need to help Victor. He should have the keys to the laboratory. And at the same time, I'll ask him about the situation. Okay. Is that through here, or is that just through the same door again? Uh, how long do I have to okay. wait for you, Thomas? I think I'm getting worse. Uh-oh. I'm on my way. Listen, I met Maya locked in the laboratory, and I'm very interested in what happened to you two. You said you chased her and locked her in the lab. What the hell? I don't trust her. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried to either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobiles before waking you up, but... Stuck. What, stuck? Step bro? Uh... Okay, wait, I'll be there soon and we'll figure it out. Is this the hangar, by the way? This looks like a hangar. Why didn't you say that the first time? Yeah, I don't know why. I hope everything is okay with Victor. I think he's dead. Well, soon at least. Trust no one. There's another flashlight. Oh, hi. Finally. Fuck, Victor, there's a lot of blood here. What happened? Ah, uh, you sure know how to calm me down. I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles, and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Uh, why are these so heavy? Yeah, I don't know. We were never told what they were storing in the hangar. Okay, what happened with you and Maya? Do you really want to fucking talk about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. Okay, how do I do this? That box looked heavy as hell. I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. Like a long metal piece. Ah, bring it. Maybe this way you can lift the box and I'll try to get out. Your legs are crushed. Hurry. I can't feel my legs anymore. Yes, hold on. I'll be right back. Your legs are literally pulp. She said pry bar, which is like the same thing. Um, is it not here? I would expect it to be here. Uh, go to the hangar and help Victor. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Where's the crowbar? It's not on the table with all the work tools. I guess it's further back. It's further back. All right, sir, you just chill. Find a crowbar or long metal stick and help Victor out. Yeah, let me just find a long metal stick real quick. There it is. Long metal stick. Oh, God. Holy... <laughs> That's a lot of blood, dude. What the fuck? Did you find the keys to get my and get the hell out of here? Bro, that's not even his head. That's literally someone else. Excuse me? That's not even him. <laughs> Wait, what happened? That's not him. He didn't have a hat on like that, right? Am I insane? Oh god, sorry, Victor. You won't need keys anymore. Well, I guess I'm getting out of here. Oh, no. Wait, I'm blocked. 
Okay, scattered the box. I need to go find another way. Maybe there's a passage somewhere between the boxes. Oh boy. That over here, yes. Yeah, weird as hell sounds. Oh, what the fuck? Shush, man. Don't pull my leg, literally. Okay, I am out of here. Goodbye. The fuck was that sound? Maya is super sussy. Fuck, Maya's light is on, and it's very bright. She can attract this thing. And they don't like light, though. scared. Are we the baddies? Fuck, this is here. I need to quickly contact the guys from Zvesta Station and ask for help. Yeah, what if we're the monster and we're just walking around and killing all of our friends? Because it is suspicious that every time we go somewhere, they die, right? With the radio on the second floor. So second floor is first floor. Or, well, I mean, it's the second floor. <laughs> it's, it's, but depending on where you're from. It's that floor right there. Because <laughs> the first floor was the ground floor. Okay. Here's the radio room. There's a large antenna on the roof of this building, so the signal should be better. Yeah, this guy needs to stay. He's gonna have to drink a lot of tea to get out of here. Okay. Let's check the radio. I think there's some sounds coming from the bedroom. I need to check. You are stupid. Every time. Every time you do something stupid. Hi? Maya, I thought he devoured you. How did you? I managed to escape just as he broke through the roof. What is this creature? Did you hear that? Someone whispered, don't trust her. Wait, that was sick. I have no idea, but I saw something strange in the bunker. At first I saw something that looked like a worm, and I noticed that in the room from which he ran out, some or some growths appeared. It seemed organic. Growths? Yes, then I decided to look for you. I noticed these growths in other rooms too, and then the dogs. What about the dogs? They're dead. Something dragged them into the ventilation. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're gonna eat her, and then they're gonna eat me. Ah! That's like the same level of quality there. <laughs> yeah, what is this? What exactly is going on here? When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. So I decided to go and do a couple more tests. Classic. It haunted me that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. I started watching them again. Then I decided to go have a cup of tea. And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently... I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. What? I didn't do it on purpose. Anything can happen. Anyway, we have a whole block of ice with these samples. Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. Oh my god, this is fucking... <laughs> She's like... Yeah, I just dropped a rapidly multiplying uh, 
the organ microorganism from an ancient civilization on the ground yeah let me put it in the best place for bacteria to grow of all time the toilet you absolute dumbass <laughs> uh what happened why did victor attack you and chase after you when i woke up i went to the toilet and victor was there he just stood there looking in the mirror you know like a zombie and next to him i saw an overturned bucket with a rag and it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime what the fuck so i asked victor but he didn't answer when i came closer i saw his empty gaze he turned to me but it was like he was looking through me you know and then what? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker, there was a way out. I was so scared. I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Victor ran after me, caught up with me at the base and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like this doesn't was add up. Him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. Does she even blink? I don't think she blinks. <laughs> She's just been staring at us this whole time. That's for sure. Then he left as if he heard a call. He walked toward the hangar and after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him together. We can handle him, tie him up, call for help. We can't. He's dead. What do you mean? I mean, it wasn't him, right? Like, maybe that's actually accurate to the story that it wasn't the actual guy because it was not his head, but it might have. I, I thought it was just an issue with what the game. What do you mean we can't do it? Victor is dead. Okay, never mind. It is really Victor. What? How? The thing what killed the him. Hell? I tried to help, but I couldn't. Damn. I mean, what I didn't really do anything. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? I don't know, Maya, and to be completely honest, I don't even want to know. All I want is to get out of here. Get us out of here. So let's get out of here. What's the plan? We need to try and contact Vesta Station. The antennas here are much more powerful, so we can easily contact okay. them. Sounds like a good plan. Yes, we will contact them and ask them to take us out of this hell. What about this creature? The two of us definitely can't handle it. Let's not act like heroes. We'll just call for help, and then we'll at We'll tell them what happened here and let them decide what to do. They're going to nuke us out of orbit. Okay, that sounds reasonable. They're going to use a space laser on our ass. There's no electricity, but we can try to power the radio from batteries. So go to the hangar to get them and you stay here. It'll be safer that way. And Maya, if anything happens to me... Hey, nothing will happen to you, okay? Yes, okay. Be here, barricade all the doors, and for the love of God, don't turn on the light. Looks like the light attracts him like a bull's red flag. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right back. The, the light is what stops them from multiplying, right? You're getting this all twisted. Find two batteries in the hangar. Okay, well, I guess we're going back through the monster town. Yes, he's definitely gonna try and kill me. Yeah, and for the love of God, stop dropping the biohazardous material on the floor, Maya, please. So clumsy. Causing imminent destruction of the human race. I'm just running. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be stealth here, but I'm just running. So anyway, I started running. <laughs> I love the... Oh my god, it's covered in shit now. It's also making squishy, squishy noises. This is all flammable materials. Let me guess. We never knew what's in here because what's in here is a 15 kiloton of like explosions, TNT. And they're just gonna send a nuke on our ass and kill us because they knew we were testing on some scary materials. Here it is. Didn't you say you take two? Now I need to take these batteries to the radio room and plug the radio into them. And we can finally call for help. Why did you say find two batteries if I'm just going to take one battery? What are you talking about, sir? These were not here before either, you liar. I guess I just take one then? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, get back to the radio room. Why did it say get two if I get... <laughs> I'm so confused about these mistakes, man. Two th are we going to do two trips? No fucking way we're going to do two trips. Let's 
guy's still there. I'm just gonna run. Oh god. Ah, you bitch. Ah, you bitch. I'm looping. I'm looping. So anyway, I start looping. Uh, goodbye. Jeebus. Is he gonna find me still? I'm fine. I'm fine. You can't touch me. Can't touch this. Ah, easy. Uh, what? My I found the batteries. Now I'll connect them, and we'll contact the guys. Thomas, there. Oh, Jesus Christ. There are samples left in the laboratory on the third floor to be examined. We must take them with us. So we can study them properly in more suitable conditions. I know you're mad right now, but what kind of scientists would be would we be if we didn't take these samples with us and study them properly? We must understand what it is. We have to. P.S. Contact the guys from Zvezda and call for help. I'll be there soon. Yeah. Of course. Fuck my stupid. We need to get rid of this crap. Not take these samples with us. Uh, oh my god. Wait, so I did take two batteries. Oh. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Zarya Station. Answer. So, Esther, can you hear me? This is Zarya. Thomas, is that you? What the hell's going on over there? I what said the hell that you and Victor died. And now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what, why did you say that? When? <laughs> Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was this crying. Is so good. She said that Victor went crazy and attacked <laughs> you and her. She said he fucking killed you. Uh oh. Then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. After that, we tried again to contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. Okay, so are we the monster after all? What is this message, by the way? Damn, Zvesta, there's some real fucked up... Some... There's some real fucked up going on here. It looks like there was something in those ice samples we found. Maya said it was some kind of ancient microorganism. I don't know how, but he evolved... But he evolved very quickly. Now, this is no longer a microorganism. But a full-fledged monster running around our base and it killed Victor. That sounds crazy, Thomas. Seriously. Are you trying to make jokes there? Fuck, this is no joke! It fucking tore Victor to pieces! Drag the dogs into the fucking ventilation. The whole bunker is overgrown with some kind of organic matter. And I have no idea what the hell it is. Please get us out of here. Please, I repeat, this is not a joke. Over. Okay, everything will be fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? No fucking way I can calm down. Yes, me and Maya. She's waiting for me in the laboratory upstairs. So Maya is alive? Yes, here I am, Maya and this terrible monster. Okay, calm down, Thomas. Stay safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. In what fucking sense? Within half an hour? It takes about ten minutes to fly here by helicopter. I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. Exactly. Fucking storm? Sorry, there's so much going on here that the storm doesn't seem like a problem. I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? I understand, Zvesta. I'm waiting for you. Please hurry up. I don't know how long we can hide from this creature. Over. Okay. Yeah, how about we just stay here now? She's a liar. She's a liar? He said that Maya radioed him and said that Victor killed me. That's not true. Why did she lie to him? Someone whispered she's a liar. I need to go upstairs to check if Maya's okay and hurry her up. Guys, be there here soon. I hear big footsteps upstairs. At the same time, I'll ask her why she said that Victor killed me. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Ooh, that was spooky. What the fuck, man? I hate that. Maya? This place was not this fucked up before. This looks very different. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She's getting slowly sucked. <laughs> I 
I told you to stay away, fuck Maya. Oh no, she's been slurped, dude. Fuck. All right, time to leave. No fucking way. I won't wait here. Wait here for my death. I need to get out of here. Hey, doggies. Doggies. I hear woof woof woof. I need to check. Yeah, said the dogs. Are they alive? I think I hear dogs. Am I losing my mind? Empty? Oh shit. Empty? The music though. Oh, they're all empty in peace. Can I save the dogs? Let me guess this is bait. Can I check out doggies? Hello, doggies? Question marks? I think this is fake. I'm running after doggies. There's no fuel in any of the snowmobiles, so I have to find some fuel. Surely there's it was somewhere in the hangar. Am I going crazy? That's what I'm saying. There was a monster. I only saw it for a literal second. Because I looked the wrong way. Oopsie doopsie. Why didn't you help me, Thomas? Someone said. Dude, I love these whispers are so fucked up. Okay, fuel, fuel, fuel. My god, poor Victor. He's become a ball of sludge. Fuel can check, snowmobile keys check. Why are you talking so weird when like everyone is dying around you? I need to fill up the snowmobile and get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on, please. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> it was like a little, <laughs> little worm jump scare. <laughs> Oh god. That was actually the first jump scare in the game. I mean, I guess there were some before, but I didn't see them. Uh, I'm gonna- Oh no! Wait, never mind, I thought it was doggy. Look, 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 look. Here we go, baby. Brum, brum. I can still turn on my flashlight? <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. It's like turning it off all the time. <laughs> my flashlight is still there! My flashlight is floating in the middle of the cutscene. You see this? <laughs> Whee! Flashlight! Don't go without me! No! scratched by something underwater in the basement, right? I don't care about that. Did you listen to what I said? This damn thing killed Maya, Victor, and the dogs. We need to fucking burn everything that was on the base so that this monster doesn't get out. You do realize that we need to ask you about what happened, right? It's our job. Uh, yeah, sure. There's so much, so much has happened here, and thanks for getting me out of there. No problem, Mr. McReady. Mac no, we'll continue later. <laughs> Mr. Mac, ready? 
Call me McDonald's because I got that Mac ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Hello. You look spooky, sir. Um, where am I going? I'm walking away. Oh. What is with the orange light behind there? Why can't I go to you guys? I want to go to you guys. You you look kind of cool, though. <laughs> Alrighty, then. I'm just... Here we go. Alright, I'm out of here. Uh, this is not normal. I think I'm infected by, by the virus or something. My head! Let me guess. I'm gonna be looking at my hands and I'm the monster or something. There's gotta be a plot twist. I was tripping the whole time. It was all a dream. Of course. Classic. I can't look at my own legs. I was just curious. How do you feel, Thomas? Um, can I talk to you guys? I'm okay, just a little headache. Cameras? Who are you? Where am I? Don't worry. Everything is fine. You better get some rest. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Are you guys... Who the hell are you, sir? That's that's actually sick. <laughs> I love the outline. Okay, I guess I'll get some rest real quick. Uh, what if I watch some TV, though, first? So, should we drink some coffee first? Or tea, I mean? Alright, go to bread time. EP time? I can't go EP? I want an EP. Can I escape? Open the... Oh, fuck. What is this? Thomas. Lie down on the bed and get some rest. It'll all be over soon. I'm a monster. Infected. I hear flesh moving. Also, I think you're laying on the wrong side of this bed because the thing that could pull yourself up is on the other side. Um, I turned into sludge. I love that this is a game. Thomas, oh, what? Are you okay? I'm dead, bro. Why is he so calm? Am I licking something off the floor? What's going on? Am I kissing the floor? What are these sound effects? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. What are these fucking camera angles, bro? <laughs> this, is like a, this is so confusing. Time for jump scare. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> this was actually like genuinely very fun though. I had a fantastic time with this game. <laughs> Good or bad, this is the end. Thanks for playing. Let's go. That was fun. I know it was a little janky, but damn, there was ambition in here and a whole storyline. Because, like, you can see that it's, like, the budget wasn't very high. It was probably, like, one person making the game. Yeah, there you go. Which makes it hard to be, like, good at literally everything. Like, you can't make insane cutscenes. That's why you usually don't see any cutscenes at all in an indie game. Because it's just really hard to nail, like, the facial animations. The voice acting was actually quite decent. And obviously, uh, all the characters after they got infected were supposed to be fake. So they were, they were supposed to not, like, sound as if they were very... They were, like, totally normal people because they weren't so yeah i think that was great i had a lot of fun with that hope you did as well if you're watching over on youtube if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the love the gamers share and chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash instagram click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye let's go Alrighty. is there gonna be something behind the credit or after the credits it's got to be right
<laughs> no? Yeah, the doggos. We couldn't pet them and they got murdered. What the hell, man? Oh, there we go. We're gonna loop back around. Okay, I'm gonna click quit here. So we got another game. Uh, that was great. <laughs> Detroit become human. I already played that. The whole series is on YouTube. This one's called Void Crawler. It's also lo loud as hell. Yeah, it was goofy, but it was funny. I'm gonna turn that down. It's still so loud. Does this even change anything? It doesn't change anything. <laughs> what is going on, bro? Every v band I'm getting trolled by the game already. I mean, I haven't even started. It's just visual. <laughs> I guess once we're in the game. Okay, I will just turn it down manually then again. In this gracious. I'm turning down so much and it's still so fucking loud. It's insane. Okay, uh, let's click start. New game. March 10th, 2000, wait, 2132. That is a long time in the future. The pain of losing my daughter is unbearable. I took a break from my duties, but, but the emptiness of my home filled with memories is even worse. Hi. <clears throat> I'm trying to click, but it's not doing anything. Yeah, happy start right there. Then come the phone call from my superior saying that a company named Void Energies needed someone with my machinery expertise. It was a lifeline I clung to in my sea of sorrow. Okay. Void Energies. Today I realized it's my birthday. My daughter always baked me a cake, but this is pro but this proposal, as strange as it seems, is better than being alone at home, waiting for someone I'll never see, and a cake that will never come. Dude, we're already depressed, and we've literally 10 seconds into the game. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we are. Uh, so this is gonna be similar to... Hey, oh. You're about to dive headfirst into the void. Exciting, right? Go on over to that pit. Give that big red button a press. A mole will be prepared for you. Okay, so this is gonna be similar to Iron Lung, at least from what I saw. You're going like under somewhere in a little tiny ship. I'm clicking a big button. You can't stop me. Uh, first descent into the void. Can I jump? <laughs> it didn't even acknowledge me. <laughs> You are about to dive headfirst into the void. It was like, <laughs> you fucking right. idiot. <laughs> you died screen. Yeah, 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 I get it. Give me my mole. Okay, it's totally fine volume for me now, by the way. I hope it's for you guys too. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, hi there. Uh, I'm just gonna go on a big platform. I thought you had some kind of better thing planned for me. Can I jump or am I just gonna... How the fuck am I supposed to get there? Excuse me? Uh, click button. No? Go around? What? Dude, I love these big machines. Let me guess, something is gonna come out of there? Like a little ship? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> it looks very... <laughs> not sturdy. Okay, give me a mole. Like a little, little car. With the camera on it. Is this gonna go down so I can walk on this? Okay, thank you. I'm lowering the bridge for you. Head over to the platform and get ready to This seems not up to code, bro. I'll provide further instructions. Where are my railings? Where are my safety railings? I could fall off of here and die <laughs> before I even start my first day at work. Okay. Am I going in? Oh, we're going down. We're going down, baby. Yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna go to the void. I already fell off, I know. Uh, what's going on? Oh, hi there! Did you got a cool suit? Hey, another lost 
Russell, just like me. Name's Clarence. Hope you're ready for a real downer of a journey. <laughs> real downer of a journey? Hey, Clarence, I'm Marcus, ready to tackle whatever comes our way. They're just simple icons, by the way, if you're curious what I'm covering up. <clears throat> Why am I waiting still? Oh, I have to click on it. I can also increase the volume again because it's slightly too quiet now. I can just basically put it back to normal, I feel. I might be loud as fuck at some point, but we'll be fine. Well, Marcus, we'll find out soon enough. We head over to that uh, communicator icon? and give the operator a shout. I'll hold down the fort here in the mall. We'll regroup inside once you've got a handle on things. Okay. Hello there. Nice one. What the fuck? <laughs> he just disappeared inside. Okay then. Uh, I will be... Can I send him down? Can I send him to hell? So I don't have to... I don't need this at the moment. What is that? It's like a... Oh my god, what am I doing? Uh, I'm stealing? I'm stealing oil and coolant. Yoink. Got it. Uh, now I'll burn the place down real quick. I have to do things first. All right, then. <laughs> Is there anything else to interact with here? I, it's, I see only complete darkness over there, over there, I see. Uh, let me guess, I'm gonna go click big red button over there. What? This is all made of metal, by the way. Like, what the hell? That's a lot of metal. Hello. Uh, operator, I've reached the bottom. Do you read me? Save game here as well. Loud and clear. Good. Grab that tablet from the material elevator on your left. It's your manual for everything you need down there. If anything goes wrong, remember, I'm here on the line every time you return from the void to the dock. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. little tablet. Uh, press F1 to access instruction manual on your tablet. If you press Q, you can check the mole stats. Battery oil coolant levels. Additionally, you can press tab to view your inventory. Okay, battery of thousand. Oil, coolant, blah, blah, blah. Okay, F1. Uh, undock. Okay, oh my god, that is too long. Didn't read. 14 steps to read. Is this going to be on the test game? We'll figure it out. I want to save game real quick. Yeah, save game uh, in a new save slot right there. Okay, uh, I got my tablet. I have zero crystals out of 10 that's underneath chat. Don't know if I need those crystals. There we go. Do I still have my coolant? I, coolant? I still do have it. I wonder if that's uh, a little cheat right there. This is all so rusty looking. These do not look very safe, but all right then. Drill standing by. Oh, hi. What the Welcome fuck? Welcome aboard this piece of junk. It's way cozier than it looks outside, isn't it? Well, I was expecting a five-star suite, but this works too. Well, if you say so. Yeah, I know. It's not exactly home, but we'll make do. Uh, hey, did you give that manual a look? If not, no rush. I can wait. It's your call. I already checked it. I've read everything. Trust me, I'm pro. At least it's not as boring as a safety manual. Well, haven't cracked it open. I did. I did. I read not it all. Boring isn't always good. Boring things are what keep us safe. Oh, okay. All sir. right, Marcus. Time for the thrilling part. Just press that big blue button over there to undock the mall. My man's like a donation text to speech voice over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, click the big red button. Oh. This big red button. No? Didn't he say big red button? Am I stupid? Oh, here we Big blue button. Sorry. I couldn't. I didn't hear probably. I thought you said That's red. It. It's blue. Okay. Now you're the captain. I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. Seeing someone else handle the wheel for a change. Uh, oh, here we go. Full on Iron Lung style. We have all the buttons. Oh. Hi there. Um, I'm going forward. What the freak? I would like to go. What does this do? Okay, this just rotates us in place. I see. Oh, that's interesting. Can I go forward without hitting anything? Shouldn't we look at this thing in the middle here? 
Okay, dude, let's check the stats. Okay, the battery's actually going down as we are moving. I see. Are we supposed to get somewhere? I see like a maze. I'm, I'm just gonna go in here. Look, you can see <laughs> the little route we're taking. Could we mine that, by the way? Maybe we should have mined that. Uh, I'll be fine. I'll find something else to mine. Like this wall right here. Can I mine this? What if I activate drill here? I can't. All right. I can't activate drill. I was just wondering if I could do that. Anyway, rotate me. You didn't really say anything of where I'm supposed to go. I get... Oh. Well, look at that. The void is already revealing its secrets. What? Lock and load button? What have I done? Click the drill button. Yes! What is your suit, man? What the fuck? I'm drilling something. I need help. <laughs> ah, you need help? Well, there's this thing called the mythical manual. It's like a unicorn around here. Everyone talks about it, but nobody's seen it. What are you talking about? Uh, I found a crystal. Your inventory is full. Wait, can I drop stuff? Oh, no. Get trolled by Clarence when you ask for help. I think I'm fucked. Can I just put the coolant in here? Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna refuel that because my I can't seem to drop anything. Can I? All right. Anyway, oil is topped off. Oh, what's this shit? Just a tip. You better return to the dock as quick as possible to deliver that crystal. The longer the thing hangs out in the mall, the faster our battery drains. Oh. Okay, so now I just gotta go back in the same path. I can't click. Can I close this shit? Turn off the drill thingy so I can keep going. Do I need to click big blue button? Big red button. Just move, man. Um, do I put it in somewhere? Put it in this. There we go. Put it in the whatever this container. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crystal. Boink. All right, that should be fine. Now can we go? I can still not move. Please. Blue button. Save me. Red button. Dude, you're not gonna make me read the manual. I'm, I'm just gonna click random shit until we find out. I'm not gonna read a 14-page manual. I'd rather do my fucking... I'd rather go back to high school and do homework than read this crap, bro. Shit's too boring. <laughs> uh, okay, I got this. I'm just gonna refuel this as well. <laughs> I'm not doing homework in a video game. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, we could. He said something about unlock and load. Okay, I guess I could. This better not be long, I swear to God. Uh, it doesn't say anything, though. Docking the mule. Bro! <laughs> My brother in Christ. Oh, right, here we go. Lock, if we click the button. Yes, we find it out. Okay, I will refuse to read this manual. They should have made it shorter. Okay, uh, we got this though. We're just gonna follow the path back. We already got the path. Whee! Look, I don't even have to think. This place shakes oh God. from time to time. You'll get used to it. Uh, will I? All right, get me out of here. I've done it. Boink, he's insane. <laughs> no manual rush speed run, any percent world record right there. Let's go. You, lo you like that? He's done it. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, I clicked blue button. Oh, I was probably not supposed to click the blue button because now I'm going back up I or b going back down, I think. <laughs> am I doing that? What am I doing exactly? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I did the opposite of what I was supposed to do. Well, I would like- I think I have to go forward and then back so the game recognizes that I want to leave. There we go. Okay, I need to hit- I need to get out of there. After we we're up. Is there a dock button? I clicked the dock button. I'm docking. I'm docked. I'm docked all over. There we go. Now we can leave, right? Can we just walk out of here? We're docked. There we go. Get me out. 
Okay, I got some stuff, sir. You want this? You probably want this. Zero of ten crystals. Are we gonna do some research on this thing? Uh, button. I would like to give this to you. Yes. Here you go. Boink. Uh, send the first crystal up the material elevator for processing. I want to do the processing. Save game again. Yes. Here we go. I've done it. Now what? We're going to go back to our AI friend. See what he's got to say about this. For the company, guys. I love the company. Hello, sir. I've done it. Okay, I guess I just go back down now. Okay, I go back down to get another crystal. All right, you're not gonna give me any intel at all. This is truly like lethal company. They don't give a shit. I just gotta do my job. Great, great assets of the company right here. Okay. All right, so we gotta go through the maze to find another. Can we hit a wall? What happens if we hit a wall? Okay, I see you cannot hit a wall. Understood. I am just exploring everything. Okay, sir. We gotta go deeper now. I'm just speed running. What? I'll rotate so we can see properly. Sir, I have no idea where we're going, but we're in the void. But, uh, we made it. Let's go. We found another crystal. Okay, gimme, gimme. We're out of oil. Oh, fuck. Should have gotten some oil, huh? Drill malfunction, you piece. Nothing is starting to sound like my mother-in-law. What's wrong with the drill? That thing is starting to th sound like my mother-in-law. <laughs> I have no idea. I did everything just like before. Well, I guess I have to go outside to see what's gone wrong. <laughs> I thought we were... Is it, if you ever are worried if AI will take over your job, play this game and listen to this guy. <laughs> I thought we weren't supposed to go outside. We are not, but as they told you, the pit only opens automatically when 10 crystals go up. Or we have to wait four days for the system to unlock the pit again. So unless you want to wait for four days, stuck inside this thing with no food and water, no freaking toilet, or even diapers, we've got to fix this thing to unlock them all. We'll just poop in all a right, corner. I'll be right back. Just stay put and don't touch So what exactly is your job here then, if you don't do anything at all? Huh? You peace? Did you just leave? Is he pooping? Why am I stuck? I'm stuck? I'm door stuck? Wait. That's the most emotion we've ever heard from him. And also the last we'll ever hear of him. <laughs> he is dead. Unluckily for me, this... Oh. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Clarence, what the hell? Screw this, I have to get out... Get to the dock to report this and get the hell out of this place. Uh, that is him? Okay, that's kind of sick. Alrighty, uh, can we even make it back? Because we got, like, no oil. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it back. Get me out of here. Uh, I probably need to close this first. Can I take this up? No, I can't. Alright, then. Goodbye. Yeah, my oil is fucked, but I don't got any. I don't got no oil. Let's go. Alright, we gotta... Let's just... Yeah, this doesn't... I, I need to... Should rotate, but I don't want to move any additional spaces that I have to. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> that is so unnecessary. <laughs> I'll get some oil this time. There you go. <laughs> get to kill him again. We'll get to hear his amazing mother-in-law joke again. All right, so we'll just put a little stock up on everything. Oh, I can't even do two things at the same time, huh? You useless piece of crap. I can't walk away. 
Use two coolant jerry cans on the mole. They're giving these achievements away for free. Alright, I'll get some more. Charge it. Doesn't it auto charge? Oh, here we go. This is so unnecessary. Uh, it's already in there, right? I'll just get more. There we go. I got it all. All right, you're charged. Goodbye. Can I just go without unplugging it? <laughs> Are we? Don't tell me it's time based. And we're like slowly charging. Is it not plugged in? Is there? Oh, I need to click that button, bro. Click the, yeah, click the button that doesn't even glow at all and it's just dark on a dark ship to charge. Wait! Oh, never mind. I need to click a button here. Okay, no, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I thought I needed to click that button. <laughs> I love it when they add busy work to my video game. Uh, we good? Oh my god. This is all the fun of charging your phone. <laughs> Don't you get that like dopamine rush when you plug in your phone in the charger and you go let's go I get to use my phone again <laughs> the Phone charging simulator <laughs> All right, we've done it <laughs> Look around the cockpit. Oh, what's this storage? Oh, there we go Okay, okay, okay I love how they actually... I love how people are gonna blame me for not... <laughs> like, if you, when you... If you, when a game tells you, open the manual and check it, and you open to this screen, and your first instinct is, all right, one of one to undock the mole. All right, two of one. <laughs> or two, two, the second step. Let me read all this fucking shit. If you, if that's your instinct and you want to do that, you and I are fundamentally different gamers and I don't think we can get along. Like, I could not give a shit. I'd rather just fuck up and find it out the hard way than read, like, a fucking manual like that at the start of my game. <laughs> I can't read. Yeah, I am incapable of reading. <laughs> That is too much. Okay. Now he's gonna die again. Get ready. Oh boy. I know someone who does that. Ah. Uh, get ready to die. Sir, you. how was your last day on Earth? Mr. Clarence or whatever the fuck. We're so fucking far. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. It's time for you to die. <laughs> he got to troll you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over the <laughs> fucking mother-in-law AI joke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is starting that does sound like my mother-in-law. <laughs> well, I guess I have to go outside to see what's going on. I am a human. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to go outside. We're not. But we're but as they told you, the pit only opens automatically when 10 crystals go up. Or we have to wait four days for the system to unlock the pit again. So unless you want to wait for four days, stuck inside this thing with no food and water, no freaking toilet, or even diapers, we've got to fix this thing to unlock them all. All right, I'll be right back. Just stay put and don't touch anything. Oh, seven. Get ready to die, sir. <laughs> Clarence, I appreciate it. Why 
Why would you do this? He's hella dead, dude. That's cool, though. I love this. Players, what the hell? Alrighty, I'll get the hell out of here. Unload me. He's freaking dead. Speedrun. We actually got stuff this time, right? We need to make sure, because when you run out of oil, you just fucking die. Like, it doesn't go like, you should refill your oil. It's just like, you're dead. Here you go. Back on level, thank you for the five. Okay. It's shaking again. The coolant is going down 1% every step. Get me out of here. Okay, let's refuel both of these because we're gonna grab some more. Uh, we're at 80% oil, but we might as well refuel that too. We just need to grab... The oil is way more needed than the battery. Well, the infinite, I guess. Yeah, we couldn't just... We got this whole ship, but we can only carry two oil. Or, like, four items at a time. And if thinking for the 15. Okay, let me grab... Boom. Alright. What do I do now? I'm gonna talk to you, and they're gonna say, like, You will stay here until you get all the crystals. What the fuck? Operator, do you read me? Clarence is dead. The drill malfunction. He went outside and got caught by the drill. He's torn apart. Get me the hell out of this freaking place right now. Wait, slow down, son. I read you. What are you talking about? And who the hell is Clarence? Clarence wasn't real? Clarence, the guy who was already down there. He was kind of showing me the ropes. Listen, son. There hasn't been anyone down there for a month. These are one-man missions. You might be seeing things, but that's normal due to the radiation. Radiation doesn't make people see ghosts obsessed with company manuals. Something is seriously wrong here. You'd be surprised to hear what other people saw down there or on any of the other pits in the void. And you're right. It's not just the radiation. There's something that cannot be explained by our science. Why the hell are you telling me this only now, not before I came down here? Do you think we'd ever get people to go down there if we told them what it's like? Just keep calm, and the quicker you complete the job, the sooner you... This get doesn't seem legal. Over and out. <laughs> that does not seem like that's allowed. All right, Neo save game. All right. Well, we only got nine more crystals to go, baby. So we have full battery, full everything. We just need to stock up. I mean, we only need... It depends on how far we got to go. Can I just go off? I'm just going to fill this real quick. Because I want to make sure... I just need one more oil. <laughs> yeah, this guy kind of sucks. All right, I'll get rid of the cable. I don't think it'll let me go with the cable attached because I'm going to break everything. And give me oil. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, we're a great asset to the company. On top of me. <clears throat> Camera standing by. Okay, so we gotta keep going deeper through the same route every time. I love how big this thing is for no reason. This does kind of really hamper the feeling of claustrophobia when the ship is this large. Okay, so we are going into the same pit. This thing wants me to rotate. I'm not doing it. Do, 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 do. No, Bonnie, think of it as seven. Can I not just set an autopilot? Oh, whoops. All right, we're in a new area now. Let's turn around and actually see what we got. I can go to this side. Okay, we can keep... Okay, we're mining. It's drilling time. My favorite time. Also, I need to keep, keep looking at the oil. Okay, then. 
Your inventory is full. Well, I needed to refill the oil anyway, so there we go. Use five oil jerry cans. Thank you for the achievement. I'm getting those participation trophy achievements right now. All right, we're gonna have high battery drain. Loop. As soon as it's in there, we should be fine, right? It's still a high battery drain. All right, anyway. Are you winning, son? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? I just saw you die. I reported to them. And they said they didn't have anyone named Claire's out here. This is too much. Wow, what are you talking about? I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Excuse me? Claire, she went outside the mole the mole into the void to fix the drill and you got shredded. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh yeah, sure. Then how the hell are we having this conversation? Besides, only an idiot who hasn't read the manual would go outside into the void. Look, this place messes with us. <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you, but it almost looks like it feeds on your pain, your suffering. And because of your daughter's death, you're like a mouthful to this place. How do you know about my daughter? You told me about her. Oh, well then. I didn't tell you. I never share personal stuff with anyone. Because right, I bottle up say? all my feelings and I hate talking to my therapist. Focus on the job. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Why aren't you gonna die again? Men will really go into the void instead of talking about their feelings? <laughs> is that what's going on here? That is literally what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I feel so called out. You'd rather end up here than go to a therapist? <laughs> Clarence is gonna like jump scare me, I'm telling you. Alright, I'm speed running because we got high battery drain. We're gonna keep going through the same freaking path. Are you kidding me? I gotta rotate it. Go, go, go. Alrighty. You're still alive. All right, I'm gonna refuel both of these while we're at it. Might as well. The boy is free. There. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Now we just need to refuel. We got everything out of here, right? Oh no, we just need two oil and one coolant. <clears throat> Don't waste oil. I mean, thing is, you just explode, and we also made it. Like, it's there's no, there was no problem. I know we're not gonna have to go further eventually. But right now, there's, there was no reason to not refuel. All right, there you go, sir. Save game again, I guess. You're never gonna talk to me about what we're doing here. I don't get it. Hi. Okay, so I need a refuel too. Why can't we get more than one item at a time? Because it, when we get one, it starts draining our battery really fast. I mean, maybe we could get two and then just try to rush back. I don't know. It seems like the game doesn't, doesn't, isn't designed around that though. But maybe if we like min max or stuff. All right, we're almost full. Battery didn't seem that much of a problem. First, you must turn off the charging station. Oh, you're lying. <clears throat> okay. We are full. You're still alive somehow. Goodbye. Our doctor's go or our daughter's gonna come out of here. Yeah, I don't know why the hangar is so big. Everything is big in this game. Okay, so now we... Oh, we gotta go fast because our battery and stuff is gonna start draining. So let's see if we can do two at the same time. I mean, if we min-max our oil, we could try and get... Two... Whoops. Uh, two crystals at once. That would really help. Speeding things along. There better be something that happens when you start getting more crystals. 
Because this game doesn't really have... I mean, maybe there will be visually interesting moments, such as in Iron Lung. Okay, we go further. Uh-huh. Oh, we have to do this. Okay, we're getting all the crystals. We could have definitely gotten two there. Whoops. Are you playing Flappy Bird on that thing? You got games on your phone? He's got games on his phone. Uh, my inventory is going to be full. So this is where, like, what do I do? I got to refuel, right? Let me just use the coolant because the coolant doesn't seem that important. Like, I, I got to make space. I can't just do nothing. Because someone was like, you're recharging too fast. But, like, I physically cannot pick up the crystal. <laughs> Otherwise, like, I don't know what to do. I have to get rid of it. There you go. Okay, we'll check the oil. Don't die, please. So now we're gonna keep going. We are gonna get faster battery drain, but we should. Come on. We'll be able to get more. Is there even another path here, or is this everything here? I know we need oil. Okay, this might have been everything here. So I guess the game wanted me to get both of those at the same time. That's fine though. We need to refuel oil soon. Otherwise we will die. If there's only two oil per step. So I can just calculate it. All right, one more step and then we refuel oil because I don't want to get it to zero. There we go. Totally perfect. So I'm assuming this whole path is done now because there was no other way to explore. So they're gonna send us down somewhere else. Ding! <laughs> A little like elevator ding sound. Okay, let's uh. Can I put this in here for. I cannot put it in there! Alright, I'll just refuel everything. This need, we need to have, why do we have this large of a ship and we don't have larger containers to hold the oil? Like that seems like you built this thing with the worst classifications possible. Like look how much wasted space there is here. Why isn't this stacked full of storage containers? Come on, man, have you played Subnautica? Uh, all right, I'm out of here. My man has not played Subnautica. I bet the manual explains why. <laughs> oh, hi there. It's a spooky boy! Oh my god, Clarence. You're such a spooky motherfucker. Let me guess, you're gonna disappear. You bitch. I plug this in first, because this takes a while. What is with Clarence? Why is Clarence trolling us? What have we ever done to you, mister? This is a ghost event, guys. It's a phantom. What the hell? Where the hell is he now? Whatever. I'm just going to focus on finishing this and getting the hell out of here. Clarence, you goofy ass. What are you doing, sir? So now we're gonna go somewhere else, right? It has to be, because we already got all the crystals. I don't know. I wanna get multiple crystals in one run here. Yeah, I want I wanna play like a game of cards with Clarence, please. No, we're in the same spot again. Is there just another way to go over here, maybe? No. What? Uh, what did I miss? I don't get it. I guess there must be another path somewhere. Hold on a second. That path wasn't there before. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you son of a dingus. The 
this way. What? Uh, it's bubbling. The fuck? It's like a harpy. Do we go that way? I wish, I'm trying to go that way, but there's nothing else there. Oh. Uh, mighty spooky. Oh god. Oh, that's fucking spooky. Excuse me. All right, now we're talking. I like that. Not really, but pretty cool. All right, can I get a crystal real quick? Yeah. I want to look around here and try to get multiple crystals. Okay, sucks that I have to... Maybe I should have explored a bit more. I don't know. Because now I have to use one of these. I feel like I need... I should use the cool one. It's just way less useful. And then we'll have oil. Come on, put it in. Okay, we got so much battery, bro. We'll be totally fine. We'll be totally alrighty. Going down a new. Oh God! I need to be careful of the oil. There we go, another one. I better deliver. You fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> I have to go back and deliver this one first. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's so annoying. Why? You thought you had any agency as the player? Well, think again. You're not allowed to optimize. Just follow the linear storyline we laid out, sir, please. <laughs> God damn it. All right, it's fine, but now we know. At least we tried. All right, rotate me. Yeah, cool, and they're still totally fine. Because it's not like draining any battery at all. Like barely. It was in the manual. <laughs> yeah, that might have actually been in the manual. <laughs> it would have been sick if they let you pick that up and then it would have drained like twice as fast. All right, wait, wait, I should refuel. Whoops. While we're at it. I was just I wanted to deliver the crystal and see what they said. I love how this is just <laughs> I love how this is literally just a like kitchen cupboard but made of metal. <laughs> you see this? Like they just slapped the metal texture on a kitchen cupboard. Green flaw, thank you for the prime. Yeah, but it's storage too. That must mean there's storage one, right? Oh, yeah, it doesn't mean there's storage one. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> that is a very good point. <laughs> all right, then. Not that we ever needed more fuel, but all righty. That makes our life easier. <laughs> that was probably in the manual. <laughs> you guys, are you there? What's up? It is very important. Please respond. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Any plans to actually get me out of this place? Starting to lose it on my end. Sorry, man. I don't make the rules here. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing you can do. My offspring is already watching you. Your thieves always bring delicious pain. What the you fuck? You will soon be consumed. But for now, we will savor you a bit longer. Well, I think that's all for now. <laughs> I'll let you get back to work. Over and out. Alrighty then. What the actual frick is going on here? 
Breakfast. Guess not that one. <laughs> I should probably say best short of all time. Father-in-law. I don't know. Okay, but we can store way more than I thought we could. Yeah, we are bait. So then there's like nothing to worry about. We'll just have this one full of oil. Okay, oil. And then we'll put coolant in the other. Well, I don't think we even need that much coolant. We'll have like coolant and oil in this one. So two coolant, four oil is I think the, the sweet spot. Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> I used to get this, it's the most wholesome shit of all time. I used to get this like, um, I don't know if they're still doing it, but it's like cooking with, I don't know what. It's like a cooking channel with uh, like three people with Down syndrome, and it's actually like the most wholesome thing I've ever seen in my life. They're so nice. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met anyone who has Down syndrome and isn't like literally the nicest person of all time. I, I don't know. It's just they're always like sweethearts. I used to have someone with Down syndrome in my high or my elementary school class, and they were just amazing. Um, we're going. They're like golden retrievers, yeah. It's like you, you just the evil gets turned off. There's, they're just only only happy. It was back here, right? I'm not exploding, no. There was one there. There. All right. Well, there's got to be a new path after this. What is like? I I don't. I wonder what happened because I still like uh, watch YouTube shorts every now and then. I don't know why I don't get those recommendations anymore because they were so fucking wholesome. It was like one guy who always kept messing things up and then the other would be like, Max, why did you do that? <laughs> You'd be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> so cute, man. I don't know if anyone knows the channel I've, I'm talking about. I don't know what they're called. Forget. The one with the spoons, yes, exactly. <laughs> Sean and Marley, it might, it might be those, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I should get out of here because my battery. Uh. <laughs> and then they're looking for like a fork or something. And it's like super cute because one of them is like clearly trying to impress. Like, there's, uh, two guys and, like, a girl, and the one guy clearly has a crush on the girl and is trying to impress her with his, like, cooking skills, and he, like, forgets that he does, like, something stupid. Oh, hi. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse you. I'm seeing things. All right, get me the hell out of here. Not this one. Cool. Let's refuel. Should have taken a ghost photo. It's Lisa. I don't want those eyeballs. Alrighty. So now we need two oil and one coolant. Is basically what we use every time. We're still not even close to being in danger. I'm assuming we're gonna do some longer trips in a moment here. But right now we're doing so many short clips or sh sh uh, trips, I mean. I should have done battery, but it's fine. Yeah, we finished the ice cream. Uh, I did it. The game is happy with me. 
I still can't believe those cinematic camera shots of the first game. <laughs> that shot going under the bed at the end. That's, you can't make that shit up. Creepy or lethal company? Uh, not quite. Is this more Iron Lung style? All right, one more oil and then we're out of here. Yeah, and then they did a creepy. We were talking about wholesome stuff. Uh, and the comment section of those shorts are always are also so nice. It's wholesome as hell. I get these. The YouTube shorts algorithm has like a will of its own. I get these recommendations now of this one channel who does like D&D &D skits and it's actually like some of the funniest shit I've ever seen and I don't even play D&D. &D. <laughs> like it's just him talking to like six versions of himself <laughs> playing D&D. &D. I don't you probably, you probably know if you I mean if you know you know. You know? Where are we going? Are we going down here now? Yes, we are. The path is longer, baby. Okay, this is a large space. I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, come on. You piece. Wait, do I have to look forward? Is that not open? Oh no, this is not open. Looks like there's a path there though. Is there not gonna be a freaking crystal here somewhere? Could I get a crystal, please? There we go. Look at so many food-related shorts. I also get the fun fact guy all the time. You guys know the fun fact guy? Doug uh, Sharp or whatever? <laughs> fun fact. And then he says, and then every time he says fact, you know that you're about to hear some fucked up shit. Because when he doesn't call it a fun fact, it's like, fact, this guy fucking died by falling off 17 story building, broke his neck, and then flipped like three times. <laughs> My god. That's not a fun fact at all. <laughs> I get why you didn't say that. <laughs> here you're making a game like this one we're playing right here or what okay um what am i okay i need to rotate this is gonna be confusing otherwise because the grid doesn't rotate with you i'm glad it doesn't otherwise it would be immensely confusing this looks terrifying it's somewhat oh god I was uh, 60 seconds yesterday. I was watching for a little bit, but I hopped out before you. You got to like day 40 before I had to hop out. Did you win? Did you get an ending at any point or did you die? It's hard to get an ending in that game. Your run was 63 days long and you won. What the fuck, Jordan? <laughs> How are you cracked at video games? It took me quite a- it took me like a full stream to get one win. You got mutated, MJ? Are you fucking serious? No way, dude. <laughs> How the fuck? I said- I spent like entire streams looking for that shit, man. How did you do that? <laughs> On day eight? Are you kidding me? It's fucking great, dude. Oh. Oh, hi there, sir. The fuck is on the ship, bro? That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe that. We, I think it took us like eight hours of, of knowing exactly how to get her and still like being unlucky and not getting it. I think it's enough for her. got wrecked, yeah. Chat was screaming. <laughs> That's so good. 
Yeah, she's insanely OP. It's hard though, because if you don't know what you're doing, you might actually get killed by a mutant MJ. But I'm assuming chat helped you out there. Because she can be- Wait, I didn't fully charge because I didn't click the fucking button, bro! Oh, damn it. What do you do in this game? You get crystals and you get jump scared along the way. <clears throat> I'm invested now. We're gonna see you through. I need one a coolant. Did I put a coolant in there? I think I put a coolant in there, so we should be fine. I mean, we only really ever need one coolant anyway. Yeah, that's crazy. When is Markiplier's movie coming? Didn't he get, like, some record for most blood or whatever in a movie? <laughs> that sounds like a great record. And then he got, like, blood in his eyes and he had to go to the hospital. Isn't there, like, a, a, a whole Twitter channel or Twitter account dedicated to amount of days Markiplier since Markiplier has gone to the hospital? <laughs> That's kind of fucked up, dude. thing is clogging up the air purifier. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, well, guess I die. It's fine. We can just hit a wall, right? Just grind him against the wall. I can't. What is over here? It looks like there's something in front of me. Oh, it's breathing. It's the wall is breathing. Is Clarence there again? Clarence, you little rascal. Where am I at? I don't know. There's another like breathing wall here. Oh wait, we can go here now. Nice. I don't think that was there before. We just My need to- iron coffin. I wish I knew what I was getting into when coming down here. You will never get out of here alive. You're doomed since the moment you stepped on that elevator. I- Oh, what? I was gonna tell you, I found something that looks like your mother-in-law. You could have made another mother-in-law joke, sir. There was like a giant slime ball on the roof. You didn't even get to hear my joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he started. It wasn't me. Oh, come on, man. There's a freaking pillar. Oh, you bitch. I just need to find one crystal. That's all I gotta do. Crystal? Crystal! You've changed, players. Okay, then. Dude, I've start- Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? I wanna eat it! It's the cake that she bakes. Right? Happy birthday to me, or to the- Oh, never mind. I have a crystal instead. Feels bad, man. Cake is indeed a lie. I've started to. What the fuck? There's more coming out. The stuff is starting to spread. That's what I'm saying. I've started to go deeper into the Elden Ring quest lines, um, and play the game more like like starting to learn all the ins and outs like I did for all the other Souls games. And holy shit! I don't know if there's other people that have like gone like a, a few hundred hours in Elden Ring. It might have like I I. I'm experienced with this shit because I've done other Souls games. Elden Ring has the most nonsensical quest lines of all the Souls games I've ever played. It's like, if you go to the wiki, it's like 17 pages of, well, you need to make sure that you talk to this guy in this location one time, but then don't talk to this guy because if you talk to this guy and say their hair is nice, then they're gonna fucking die. And then don't make sure not to tell this guy this this particular thing because then if you go to this quest line, you'll not be able to do this. And you're like, my God, dude. <laughs> 
I have to read this fucking- This is like opening the manual in this game, but then it's actually somewhat interesting, so I actually care. <laughs> Can I go up here or do I actually- I actually have to rotate? This shit is ridiculous. It's like, oh, but if you give this thing to Ronnie, then this guy will turn into a lifeless puppy. So make sure to give this potion to this person first before you do that, because otherwise you'll be able to, you'll not be able to get the scorpion ring from fucking blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh my God. Shit's ridiculous. That is like exactly one to one the quest line that I had to do. <laughs> Because I was starting to get into like 100%ing um, it, so, so I did. If I ever do end up playing the DLC, I'll be able to like have some more information than just let's fight these bosses forehead. Um, but man, is it a lot to. What? A lot to handle. I? Yeah, there's like seven trillion different endings in Elder Ring as well. It's unbelievable. What the fuck? Uh, I would like to leave. Yeah, si I mean six endings, but like <laughs> the endings are so like to, <laughs> to get the the like the three finger one, right? You have to go to one area, jump into a random well in the dark somewhere, then go through a massive area underground, then you have to fight a boss, then you have to find an invisible wall in the boss arena, go into that area, jump down and not die in the like most annoying pit of hell of all time. Then you have to fucking something like take all your clothes off talk to a door and then boom you get another and it's absolutely ridiculous it's like what the fuck are you doing but it's kind of fun because it it reminds me of like figuring out all the dark souls quest lines and slowly learning what the hell slowly learning how you can do like the most efficient run in Dark Souls, because right now my average, like, I don't know, you can't, I can't really finish Dark or Elden Ring in less than like 50 hours at a time, which is way too long for me because I don't know, got that much time. But I know from Dark Souls 3 that eventually you can get that number down like so much and you just get good. Uh, my shit is all fucked up. Yeah, I want to play Bloodborne again, too. I can't wait to when they fucking release Phasmo on console, so I finally have an excuse to set up my PS5. So you can get Bloodborne on PS5, right? So I can finally set up, like, a proper setup for my PlayStation. Because right now I'm too lazy. <laughs> It's still in the box. I bought it. I bought my PS5 in like August because they announced that the <laughs> that the Phasma console update was coming. And I, <laughs> that shit is like, I wonder what's gonna be f sooner. The fucking console update for Phasma or my warranty is gonna run out on my PS5. Like, holy shit. <laughs> it's never gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or the PS6 will come out before then. <laughs> oh, man. All right, where the... This is going to be open now, right? Yeah, baby. GTA 6. No way. Don't scream at me. I 
I am kind of low-key interested in what GTA 6 is gonna be and do. <clears throat> it's like actually impossible how high the the expectations are for that game. If that game like launches badly, imagine the shit storm, dude. Imagine the non. I guess it's not gonna go to Steam though, right? Because they they have it on PS5 first or something. Which is very annoying. It's gonna. It, there's gonna be like physical riots out in the street if that game sucks. Little Spider-Man. How many crystals? It says it in top right. I mean, you guys, I know you guys are kind of covering it up, but it's seven out of ten. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Did you just scream something at me? Your husband can't stop talking about GTA 6. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are they talking about? There's only one trailer. <laughs> How do you keep talking about that? Just wake up. Honey, I can't wait till GTA 6. Yeah, you told me this. <laughs> How do you keep talking about a game that's not out? <laughs> Hollow Knight Silk Song. Oh, man. And then I'm out here still waiting for the fucking Project Zomboid update. Goodness gracious. It will come one day. I know what it feels like. Shit's never happening. What is... I wonder what FromSoft is working on, man. I wish Elden Ring had more, like, set-piece bosses, though. Because the amount of times you fight the same fucking boss is kind of annoying. Because the set-piece bosses are really cool. Also, I can't believe how utterly overpowered, like, double-wielding some, like, huge-ass weapon is in Elden Ring. You just jump attack, spam your way through the game. Oh, I'm in hell. Hi there. There's 165 different bosses. Well, uh, define different. Do you mean different name tag? Because that's probably true, but definitely not actually 165 different ones. Uh, what? <clears throat> Hi, is this phasmophobia? <laughs> yeah, it's a new update. What a question. <laughs> yeah, why is there not more Millennias in that game? Like, why is there only one Millennia? It's like, when, I mean, I guess there's missing DLC, right? Because if you think about, like, Dark Souls 3, the Frida fight that got just added in a DLC is, like, such a game changer. Uh, there need to be more hard bosses in that game. The fuck? Did you see the... Wait. A b Dude, I found an insane speedrun tech. Wait. I could interact with the... With, <laughs> with the plug from all the way out there. How the fuck did I do that? <laughs> when I was sprinting, it popped up. That's so weird. Oh, what in the hell? Man. Yeah, that's gotta be in the manual though, right? <laughs> this is so stupid. Send me! Let's go! I wanna go back to hell. I'm. Oh, I'm losing battery. Alright, 8 out of 10 collected. I don't even have to close this. Yeah, where's Clarence? When is he gonna pop his head out again? 
All right, where do we even go? I don't remember another wall. Probably in this tunnel network somewhere. Oh, what the fuck? Why is your ass here now? Come on, man. I'm doing the no rotate challenge, by the way. Because it's way faster this way. Was there another thing here? I don't remember. Wait, new area? Let's go. I'm going backwards into it. Wait, what? Oh, I can go this way. Oh my god, this place is too large. Come on, give me a crystal. Crystal before I run out of oil, please. There? Nope. There's a pillar right behind me. Um, 14% oil, gotta be careful. What? Did I go backwards here? I can. There we go. All right, perfect. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> Satisfactory, yeah, I, have, I still need to play that game. Oh, I should have clicked the... Uh, the drill button first. Yeah, you only die when it's at zero percent, so we're fine. Gimme, gimme. Ireland was good. I mean, it's like an iconic, uh... Less is more game. Than... I mean, it's kind of a good way to test your limit of less is more. Because I know there's people that hate Iron Lung. But I think it is a, a good example. Oh god. My no rotate challenge I failed. Because um, I know there's people that really hate Iron Lung, but I think it's good. So it's like, it's kind of like on the edge where a lot of people like it. Oh my god, stop rotating! Some people don't. So you can test what... Wait, I can't go back there anymore. The fuck? I gotta go all the way around now? I think... I don't know. Because this, this game... This game has more going on, but it's less interesting than Iron Lung, strangely enough. For me, personally. I think it's because it's a more busy work. me personally it's like did you try it did you remember their charger <laughs> charger submarine <laughs> like bro yeah we miss Clarence man Clarence was carrying what are we supposed to do without you sir where am I gonna go now I'm gonna go to hell then Oops. yeah I, th I also also think that the ship is way too big in this one so it's way less claustrophobic uh, open a door dude I'm so excited for tomorrow if you haven't already checked the if you like simulation games you gotta check out medieval dynasty man such a good game. Oh god. Uh, drop it off. Save the game, didn't I save it? I should save real quick. Just in case I somehow die. That would be very annoying. Wait, no, 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 we could- wait, 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 let's- Let's test if it was a fluke or if we can do it again, I'm kinda curious. Yeah, we're playing again tomorrow. Supermarket simulator? Probably not. I was... It's one of those games that I tried testing off stream to see if I found it interesting, and I was bored in about 10 minutes with that game, so that's not my style. Okay, so I can't click it now. I don't know what I did to do that. It 
So I guess I'm not the speedrun legend. I don't know, it's because I have played better games of the same type. Like, if you like that game and you genuinely enjoyed it, play Big Ambitions for the love of God. It is literally Supermarket Simulator, but better in every single way. <laughs> like, it's so good compared to that. Because not only is that Supermarket Simulator, but there is way more to it than Supermarket Simulator. Because you get to run so many businesses at once. I mean, I guess it depends on if you just want to have one business or many. I mean, you can have one business in, in Big Ambitions. Oh, being thinking about that too. Yeah, we will be doing something with Shadows of Doubt. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Oxygen not included. Yeah, I... I've seen that game, but what is it? It's like, uh... It's like... From the Don't Starve devs or something? Or am I completely- I might be completely wrong with that. That's why? It's Don't Starve but vertical? Oh yeah, no players online. What's- Cause that game popped up out of nowhere again. We can play that. I'm gonna be a little busy though these next few days with some awesome stuff. Cause I, I like the original No Players Online, but it's coming out soon, right? So I'm always apprehensive to play a demo for a game that's coming out soon. Cause I'm like, might as well wait for the thing to come out, you know? All right, let me actually rotate cause I'm gonna be lost in the sauce. I mean, it says coming soon on the Steam store, right? I mean, especially if the... I don't know how a demo could be that long. Because the demo is like a two hours long, right? Or something. Okay, I am not going the right way, I guess. What? Oh, I'm dying. I almost died. If I clicked another button there, I would have been dead. <laughs> I was like, but I should check my oil. <laughs> Literally, accidentally. <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> I mean, I think we went the wrong way, so... Can you zoom out? Oh, yeah, you can. How does that help me, though? Great. S superb feature. Couldn't have done it without you. <clears throat> Is it in here or something? I can't go that way anymore. Yeah, I gotta check the manual real quick. Can I go back straight this way? Wait, so it has to be in that area then. What? I mean, I have more than enough stuff. I should be fine. Because that's the only way I can go. Unless there's a different, like, place to go. I missed one tile. Oh, really? Wait, so there's another crystal in that area? Ah, oh, that's stupid. Okay, coolant is almost empty. Yeah, I'm gonna refuel when we get, uh, when it goes down to zero, because it refuels full, it's fine. Okay, so let's see. There's one tile here. That's not it. Okay, I gotta be careful. This I can't go to. There's another tile at the bottom. That's gotta be it then. This one, right here. Yeah, this. Oh, and then I can keep going. Okay, let's quickly refuel so I don't fucking die. You have no idea what's going on, don't worry. Uh, we're all fine. We live. This is literally the last crystal, too. Mortuary assistant. Yeah, the dev is making... The dev of that game is making a new game. Hi. I'm gonna drill your ass. Get drilled, sir. Alien man. 
good shot. <clears throat> oh, nice. He is totally fine. All right, I'm out of here, good sir. Also cause battery. Rotating cause battery. See, no rotate challenge is actually optimal. Yeah, actual perfect flyover here. I think we're gonna make it just fine. Am I not gonna be? I thought I was gonna get chased by something. We like have to get out of here fast, but no, we're just totally fine. Alrighty. Uh, I don't have anything. You do not need to look forward though. Right, I wonder what's gonna happen. Yeah, I know we have cool we have coolants in the other storage, right? We actually have to use all our storage here this time. Look at that. Man. Do we have is Subnautica 3 is coming, right? Holy shit. There's like a few games. There's one game that I have like I'm trying to brainwash or like you know man in black like mind wipe your is <laughs> the mind wiper thingy. I'm trying to do that to myself for Outer Wilds. The last time I played it is like I don't know so many years ago and I'm slowly forgetting everything about the game. Because it's one of those games you can, like, really only play once. But because I'm, like, I'm brain... <laughs> like, I'm trying to delete my own memories so I can play it again. <laughs> I have not played the DLC for that game, no. But I really didn't want to do that. Because then I, I might remember stuff. Uh, I guess we're going. I guess I'm delivering this shit. Do I even need to refuel? And then some not I don't think I need to use this anymore. <laughs> the game is like, don't worry, you don't have to work anymore. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just give us the crystal. If this shit ends with a fucking I place this crystal and I get jump scared and that's it. I'm gonna become the Joker. I did it. Let me guess. You're not allowed to leave. Oh, what? Goodbye. Hey, new guy. Do you read me? Hi. I read you. What's going on? Why is the elevator going up without me? I'm sorry, Marcus, but I'm just following orders. The company can't allow people to discuss what they experience or see down there in the void. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Get the hell out of here. Get me out I of here. I wish I could. But there's nothing I can do from here. You're on your own. Okay. I can't believe this is happening. So, another one falls victim to corporate evil. Clarence. It looks like we're the expendable parts, not the moles. To lift your spirits, what we did here wasn't for nothing. Those crystals will bring comfort and warmth to many <coughs> families in this everlasting winter. It's coming for you. I guess we'll be roommates very soon. Excuse me? Oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> Different roommates. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I've done it. Epilogue after Marcus's death, pit 19 was permanently closed and sealed 
He was just one of the many workers across the other pits, deceived by the company, left to die to keep the secrets of the void hi hidden. I guess it's just like Lethal Company after all. Uh, did I get all achievements? Is it gonna say more? It is gonna say more. After the unearthing of these enigmatic crystal artifacts, Void Energies is supplying boundless power to the last bastions of humanity, standing strong against a Frostfall Cataclysm. As a result, the company is emerging as a formidable authority in the world. By the way, Frostpunk 2 is doing a demo soon, I think, like a closed beta. That's re reminding me of that game. The company relentlessly scours for subterranean energy signatures, seeking out the enigmatic temples hidden beneath the earth. The insatiable greed drives them to pilfer artifacts from these unknown hive entities residing just beneath our feet. As of now, the origins of these beings and the underground temples remain shrouded in mystery. No, it's coming out in like July or something, but they're doing a demo soon. Uh, we did it. I did I mean, I didn't think the game wasn't very bad. I was just, I don't know. I didn't really expect all the busy work. <laughs> so I was a little, uh, I don't know. The manual kind of... The manual just instantly made me like turn off my brain <laughs> when I saw like 14 pages of tutorials I was like all right let's just chill and talk about something else but anyway I still enjoyed that all the same though uh, did I do all achievements is there another achievement I didn't do I'm kind of curious no I did it 100% of it I like it when a game like this just gives you all achievements on the first playthrough so you don't have to go through it this is crazy what the hell I mean, I don't want to be rude, but you can kind of see here. <laughs> you can see, like, that people got pulled, like, <laughs> or uh, put off by the tutorial. Because 96% started the game, only 37% finished the game. And it's like a two, it's an 80 minute game. So, yeah, I, I feel like just the tutorial needed to be a little shorter. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's totally fine. I think that's where we're going to call it for today. Thank you guys so much for uh, chilling over today. Tomorrow is Medieval Dynasty, uh, which I am very excited for. If you haven't already, I'm going to link something else today. I am going to be uploading a video in about 50 minutes. If you didn't already check out Lobotomy Corporation, I mean, I guess I'll link that because that's way more important. Uh, you can find the Medieval Dynasty stream if you want to catch up with what we've done. Uh, you can find it on the live or on the YouTube channel as well. But if you haven't already seen Lobotomy Corporation, you gotta. Because I know people have been yelling about that for months now. When is Lobotomy Corporation? It's here, baby. Go watch it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. Hope you had a fun time. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night, YouTube. See you. See you.